Belgium, and I was brought up in a very great family, very poor family, my siblings and I, uh, with uh, great, great effort and hard work uh, each day to survive, and uh, also for our parents to give us the best they could for our education. Uh, but uh, what, is this enough for a young child? Maybe. I, for me as a child, I wanted more. I wanted um, paintings, I wanted uh, books, I wanted all these things. I wanted clothes. So, but I didn't have all these things. Uh, we had food, we had school, but, and as you can see, we were, you know, going around and playing, and that was very, very good for me to be outside and feeling with the rest of the kids. Then I decided that I could change all these things and make it positive and think positive. So I, hard, I, 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 I tried hard and, and, and worked very hard. Doing what? I didn't have any uh, colors or something. The first book I ever had was a, a book with fairy tales that my father brought to me. And from that, all, everything started. All the images, everything, making stories in my, my mind. And when I just had it, all this, I read it from the beginning. Then I needed, I, had, I felt the need to make my own stories. And these, my very first stories, were written during the night, secretly, because they, my parents would think that I would avoid and uh, neglecting my studies, which is I didn't. And uh, at the same time, I wanted clothes. And I made, uh, I tried, I just opened the old chest from uh, uh, my grandma, huh? uh, things from the loom, and make patterns from newspapers and make clothes for me, new clothes that I couldn't have like the rest of the kids. But that was not a problem for me either. So I knew that for everything I wanted, I had to work. I had to work hard and I wouldn't feel uh, any more uh, different or uh, uh, sad or anything because everything, I was an observer of life. I was observing of everything around me. And I was seeing that nothing could stop me, only fear. And fear, there is no such a word for heavy. So, I, I made my first paintings and drawings from uh, the, 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 from the colors that my mother used to have from, from the loom. And my first canvases were these kind of linen, linen from my grandmother had in the loom. So, extraordinary, yes, because the first, first one was a thick, a thick paper from the grocery stores I used to paint, which has had the same dull effect. I didn't like that. So, you see, for me, uh, uh, all this stuff, it was... Um, Everything started from imagination, as Einstein used, used to say. So I didn't have any limit in my imagination and any limit on keep, uh, keep moving and keep forward in all this stuff. And even about music, I did all this stuff. You see later on that uh, uh, even if uh, when I was feeling that everything was against me, and I was feeling so distressful and, and sad and nothing is going to work. Then from the same time, I was finding the, the, the strength inside me to keep moving even if it's through hell. So, every dream the dream and uh, started to do several things and somehow Paraskevi, which means is my full Greek name, which means creator, became Evi. How? The, those paintings from the chest of my grandmother uh, became paintings and sculptures from the, for the Museum of Louvre. How? From a small town on Egypt, a little girl came up to have to be in, a, in, a, in that museum, the biggest, one of the biggest in the world. Uh, not uh, with a, uh, not ma magic, only with tough work. Work, work, work. And um, uh, I didn't know in the beginning that I was going to be an artist. I didn't know, 
I knew nothing. I just, I felt all this energy inside me that I needed to create. So basically I was doing other, other things, uh, translations and stuff. I was working in, the, in, uh, in uh, factories, helping my father doing things in the fields. I'm a, I'm a kid, like my brother and sister, working hard to succeed. I was paying for my private English lessons, which is I am able to speak to you right now. I was buying my own shoes and things and stuff because uh, the parents couldn't afford for such a thing. So uh, that was not the only uh, exhibition I had in love before. Of course, I would. I wish I could have with uh, been with uh, with Greece, but basically I don't know what happens. Uh, as they say, nobody is a prophet in his own uh, state. I mean, in his own village, mm -hmm. which is probably it's also about me. Uh, everybody uh, could see inside me that something, a talent, some a brilliant person, something, I don't know. Uh, so uh, all the delegations and uh, the committees I was in Louvre was uh, with Canada, UK, uh, USA, but not with Greece. The first, uh, <laughs> it's okay, I have to keep moving. And uh, the thing is that you may see now behind me, uh, it, I felt that Evie could not stay in front of her canvas and just create colors and paintings. That was not enough for me. And because I would feel that I was something, something missing, that something that is not, it was against with all the things I used to believe. So I wanted to help, to use my art, helping other kids, people that were in need, or imagining something, I don't know. And the idea came, when I had uh, 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 another exhibition in Louvre, which is also, uh, you know, it's not a typical one, it's from the years of the La Croix and Rodin, it was the same with Grande Salon, I used to have this exhibition, and uh, uh, art forums and all over, and uh, yes, and uh, uh, we had with using my art and selling all this stuff, we could build through uh, the art gallery uh, schools in Ghana and uh, from wow. uh, great art installations all over the world, mm -hmm. which is uh, very amazing for me. And I was, uh, uh, you know, focused on the Cretan uh, action, Cretan Island, and creating uh, sculptures and all this stuff, and also films. And that, uh, I felt that the painting or sculpture it was not enough. So I also, uh, I wrote uh, scripts and those stories I was telling you, telling you about uh, became uh, script uh, became very nice uh, short films uh, uh, and going around. Uh, but uh, we could have also use it in a very very uh, best way. We use it for uh, uh, international Amnesty International. Um, I used uh, the, my work for um, uh, to save the, the, the wildlife, uh, for the foundation of Prince Albert in Monaco, many institutions and uh, organizations, and I, I felt privileged because I had, you know, the power to, to show something and to be useful, not just to take money, because uh, out of these I usually, uh, I used to, you know, to, to use my work and give it to the people to, to go further and help those they need. To, to help refugee kids in Athens, people arrived here. So all these stuff were very, very amazing for me. And um, now, um, for example, uh, books and things and for, for the big screen, and uh, this is quite fascinating very, very nice for me because uh, I keep moving, you know, I'm not staying in the same thing, I'm changing and changing and I feel that uh, uh, all this positive energy around me. So I also wrote poetry uh, and uh, in all these things I told you so far, mm -hmm. uh, it's not something that the magic door opened for me and said, come on child, come on, this is you and you can stay here forever. Everything you see, even if it was for a social contribution, everything you see, and I told you so far, it, I had to give a fight. I, for everything. The people look at you, you know, suspiciously what she's telling. So, 
Uh, I tell you what, that uh, in every dark, uh, the darkest hour is before the dawning. I feel that uh, we we have we have no right to give up. This is my this is my motto in life, and um, um, I, I I I see all things very positive, and you know, I don't put uh, ego inside. And I am that's why I am humble. I don't see that I say I don't say that here where I am or what I do. I just use it and that's it. Don't say. Uh, that life is uh, hard or not. I think positive. So you see films around, I worked with Petro Papadoulakis and other mm -hmm. stuff, and we did uh, some great short stories. Here is in uh, Monaco, in Julian Cannes Festival. I, have, I was awarded as a fine artist, uh, songwriter. Yanis Sodulopoulos is uh, playing on the piano now in that, uh, in that evening, a very dear song of me, mine. Um, Especially and also for my uh, for my short film also awarded, which is you know uh, and all this uh, came to the kind of Oscars the Dolby Theatre in New York, which is also awarded as best actress for the film Black Line of Fire. So was uh, also was my um, uh, uh, script and uh, the, the, also the film was one of the best. So you see uh, and. Uh, even in Harvard or in schools in um, uh, France, they used the films I made for social contribution. Everything I have done so far, paintings, scripts, songs, everything has got a story behind. Not just, you know, you are in the mood and you may create something. I have used it, uh, taken further, as you see. Uh, here I make um, sculptures on steel, hundreds of hours and uh, working with uh, people in Africa and helping uh, 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 in a health center in Cameroon for, uh, for the kids. And uh, uh, tonight you are, going to look, you are going to listen to a great uh, song that uh, was inspired me uh, from Europa Donna and uh, it's an international organization about the breast cancer created for into, uh, 47 uh, countries uh, in around Europe. And uh, also, uh, Michalis Lazos, a great fashion designer, inspired me with the uh, next project then in Cyprus would take place and try a great song. Uh, it's called uh, Dressmaker. And uh, my composer, uh, Kimonas Polatos, and the singers, uh, Anna Maria de Liori and Constantino Simoris, with the great voices. Help me create all this stuff and uh, you will enjoy it right now. I dress me you, my heart break you, you. 